Good morning, Year Fives, and welcome to your Friday's reading list and the last reading lesson of this week. I hope you've had um, a really good week enjoying your find and copy questions, and you've done really well with those. Don't forget to send us your work um, because it's going to be expected of you now to make sure that you're sending us your work um, regularly so we can see how you're doing at home. So if you haven't done that, please make sure that today you do send us some work because we're going to be following up with um, some of you this afternoon if we have not received any work from you this week. So uh, we're going to be doing our mixed questions. So something that you've been doing every Friday with us. So you're going to have 20 minutes to answer the next 10 questions. So what I would like you to do is have some, some sort of a timer around so that you can make sure that you are um, keeping into that time limit. One thing we found in our reading papers is that we're taking too long on some of the questions. So um, would you make sure that you've got some sort of a timer near you so that you can make sure that you're setting a 20 minute time limit. Right, so you are going to read this information. Let me take myself out the way so that you can see. And you're going to read this information and then you're going to answer the questions on it, okay? So anytime that you need to pause the video and go back, please do so, all right? So um, read, go and look at the next question, read the question, go back and pause it at any time that you need. So here are your first six questions. And here are the next four questions. So it'll be a total of 10 questions. Right, so if you need to rewind, go back in the video, go and look for the text, go and find the answers, write them down, pause the video at any time you need. And when you're done, you can look at the answers. Right, so we're going to quickly go through the, the um, questions and then we'll give you the answers at the end. So for how many years has Hamley's been a toy shop? So can you please make sure that you have got a number of years? So you'll need to have a number in your answer. And number two says, in which store could you buy a 10,000 children's scarf? So they're asking for a store's name there. So make sure that your answer has a store's name. Question number three, which London street has the biggest and best range of Disney products? So I want the name of the street. Where is the best place to go to compare sweets from around the world? So again, the place, because I'm looking for the question, where? Question number five, which toy shop doesn't sell any electrical toys? So again, there is my question stem of which, so I'm looking for a name there of the toy shop. In question number seven, name two locations. You need to have two answers that you can buy both sweets and toys. So location is a place, okay? Question number seven, some museums also have toy shops attached. Can you copy the names of three museums that sell toys? So I want three names and I want them to be copied exactly how they are in the text. Question number eight is worth two parts. The writers occasionally include jokes in their description. Can you explain each of the following? Fortunately, the toys it sells are never uh, newer than the building. And B, best of all, the prices are old fashioned too. So what do you think they are trying to explain there and say? What do you think the meanings of those are too? Old fashioned means something in the past. Question number nine, this guidebook is aimed at children. Can you identify two ways in which the writers have set out to appeal to young audience? Okay, so what things have they got there that is gonna help you to think, actually, I would like, I enjoy this because um, it's all about things that interest me, okay, as a child. So what could you have there as your answers? And question number 10, if you had time to visit any one of these places, which one would you choose and why? Okay, so here are your answers now. All right, so there are your 10 answers. And you can then mark it as you have, all right? 
So hopefully you've done really well. Don't forget to send your answers and your work to year five at the Palmer Academy. We'd love to see how you're doing and we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.